Thank God, thank God for Beat Boo Brown. Thank God. Do you get? Do you play Detroit Become Human? Yeah, a what little you, bit. I didn't beat it. Really? Yeah. It was. Did you work? I uh, I played about halfway through it. My wife had already played through the whole thing, so I got to kind of watch. It was boring, it. wasn't it? I thought it was interesting. It was more interesting to watch smoking pot next to my wife than it was to play, which is why I didn't. <laughs> finish it but no. <laughs> god I your, mean, your fucking marriage rules <laughs> <laughs> welcome to anything cast by the way i'm patrick i'm eric will's holding it in <laughs> don't hold it in will let it out let it out i will all right there we go uh yeah that rules dude being able to just mm. smoke weed and sit next to your wife while she plays video games yeah yeah, that's basically like my relationship backwards. Then again, my <laughs> wife did love Detroit Become Human. She got obsessed with it. She loved it. I Whenever it she plays neat. a game and she likes it, she just it's like her favorite thing for like a month. What do you think? Uh, I thought it was pretentious, lazy, fine, boring, over the top. I think I would give it a five or a six. It's fine. It's average definitely to above his. Average. It's definitely his best game. <laughs> Like it's isn't de- he the guy? I don't know. Down. Yeah, he made Heavy Rain. No, yeah, Heavy uh, Rain. Uh, didn't he make uh, Life is Strange? No. Uh, okay, I was about to say that's very his, similar. Type yeah, of that's very similar know. game, but no. Say, that's the best game so far. Uh, you played Life is Strange? Yeah. I want to go back and play that Borderlands game. I only know uh, it from the porn. Tales I'm of porn perfectly honest. Life is Strange. Or you must be thinking of a different game because you're looking at me right now like, <laughs> wait a minute, wasn't everybody in Life is Strange underage? <laughs> like, that's the look <laughs> you're giving me. A little bit. Is that the look you're giving me? Are we thinking of different games? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, Life is Strange Because, like, is, I don't remember, like, there's uh, some scientists that are, like, I guess adults, but I mean, the main character, I'm pretty sure, is underage. Are you thinking about Beyond Two Souls? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, yeah, he may be on Two <laughs> Souls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the one where you have a ghost friend. Yeah, that's Beyond Two Souls. Oh, Life yeah. is Strange is a uh, college lesbian... I mean, it is a very similar game. Are you sure that's not a high school? <laughs> Future Patrick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, I'm not uh, entirely sure that that's not a high school. It felt like a high school. Future Patrick, uh, we're just going to look this up real quick. Maybe, uh, maybe just relax for a second. Just sit, sit right it. there. I've just seen some stuff on it before, and I feel like the internet historian on like his side channel had like the explain oh version oh my god did you know the historian, the historian 18 years old suck my dick i am i am so back we are so back all right patrick's not canceled hell yeah and she's a senior at blackwood academy Fuck she is in yeah. high school hell yeah uh, that the you best should not, of both worlds oh, Lord. you should not be celebrating <laughs> you you got you came a, here's the line and you're standing on it a 30 year old man to oh, say oh god uh, <laughs> stay away from schools yeah well i'm not allowed to come within 300 feet of one and anymore now we know why <laughs> by the way mm-hmm. more big corp news <laughs> netflix and apple are in talks to bundle their services together, uh, much like what Disney, Hulu, and Verizon are doing. Wait, what services do Apple do anymore? iTunes? Uh, yeah. No, what? no, no. They've also got uh, Apple TV. Oh thing yeah, they do for have a bunch the Apple of TV. TV. Oh my shows god, that sound dude. really interesting that no one will ever watch. Yeah, uh, my <laughs> sister. We went and stayed with my sister, and my sister has an Apple TV. That's the only television she has in her house. She does not watch television. Her husband, like I, I like I swear to God, they don't believe in it, right? Like the only person in their house that uses it is their their children, and on Saturdays and one hour when they wake up. But they had an Apple TV, and the fucking remote for the Apple TV is a fucking it's a smartphone. Hey, would you be mad if I talk slight tr- trash about your sister? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> hey, so Eric, dude, check out how fucking uptight his, his sister is. <laughs> you're oh, I thought you were about to like, show yeah, me a picture yeah. or something. About, like, check dude. out how fucking tight his sister is. <laughs> <laughs> it zooms in. Uh, like, like, huh, huh. Huh. Patrick, Patrick, put that on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, put how tight your sister is. Up. <laughs> put up like nice. a, a visual representation like, of how tight your sister is. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Like, did you did you hear that, Eric? They They only watch TV once an hour, once a week. What the fuck? Yeah, How strict is that? To me, like once an hour, once a week. That's yes, and it's not even watching TV. She lets her children have screen time, is what she calls it, for one hour. I bet it's strict as once shit. Once a week. I bet it's like you're not allowed. You're oh, only allowed to watch so Prager. Hard. You. The boy oh, watches. Ew. Uh, the boy watches. Uh, he doesn't even watch anything. They don't the have boy. television. He he plays on his Switch. 
And he plays Pokemon. What's the new one? Uh, or whatever. God, thank God. Scarlet. He likes Pokemon. Yeah, he likes I, Pokemon. Thank God he's at least allowed to play Pokemon. I thought it was going to be like a weird Have cult some thing. Some semblance of normality. Dude, in his life. I swear to God, every time I try to play a fucking video game with him, his, his mother comes in 15 minutes into it and is like, all right, it's time to do something else. And I'm like, bitch, we're on the first level. Like, what are yeah. you doing? Yeah. Uh, I did have the best re the best interaction I have ever had just about with my family today, though. I had one okay. of the best family moments. Let me tell you, let me paint you a little picture. We're in the living room. Everybody's there. My father, my mother, mm. both my sisters, my niece, my nephew, my grandfather. Oh, the wow. fire's roaring. There's a little slight crackle and there's mm. little sparks coming. We're moving the we're, we're, we're stoking the fire a little bit. It's mm. warm, cozy. It's cold outside. I've got my dog with me just sitting in front of me curled up on a little blanket he's just chill out he just he's so good mm. and we're playing the switch on this giant fucking television in the living room in front of everybody we're playing mario party and we we're playing the fucking we played mario party first like just a fucking normal mario party game that sucked i beat the shit out of everybody mm -hmm. uh, i mean what do you expect mm. and then we played the fucking baseball mini game on mario party and i don't know if you viewer listener if you have not played the baseball mini game in the new Mario Party, go play it. If you have if two to four players, go play that shit. It's so fun. It's the most fun thing Nintendo has put out in ages. You can just sit there and play that fucking baseball mini game for forever. It's hilarious. Hmm. And uh, everybody got involved. Everybody was rooting. We're playing baseball. Everybody understands baseball. Both my parents understand what's going on yep. and aren't fucking confused. <laughs> my grandfather understands baseball and knows what's happening. Everybody's rooting. Everybody's like fucking crying and cheering when they get a fucking, <laughs> a, 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 what do you call it? A fucking single, a double? Everybody, everybody, you get a home run. Everybody fucking in the whole room lit up. Everybody got up and stood up and cheered. Oh, that's very wholesome. Yeah, it was. It, I was like, this is this is what it's all about, man. This is this is. I wish it was Christmas. I wish I could say that that was Christmas Day for me. Yeah, that that would have been nice. It would have been the best Christmas ever. I mean, it still was nice, but it yeah. was. Uh, I also, I went and saw Wish. Oh, I heard that was mid as fuck. Uh, do you know what Wish is, Will? Nope. Uh, Wish is the new Disney princess movie, Will. Oh. Uh, do you know? Uh, do you know anything about Wish? Do they make a wish? Yes, Will. So it's about this city where the king is in charge of the city, right? And he's some grand wizard, basically, but he's just a handsome oh, white careful, man. Be careful with that. Uh, yes, right. There. He's, he's uh, a, a handsome white grand It's called grand Tremont, wizard. and mm. he is... Uh, <laughs> I've been to this place. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm going to be honest, it wasn't very magical. <laughs> I've, I've been through this kingdom or time or two, yeah. but I, I got to tell you, I don't stop there. Yeah, yeah. Same. And I definitely don't stop there with minorities. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so there's this black girl who lives in this kingdom. Oh, no. And... Uh-oh. Uh her, her I've heard father, this story before too. Her grandfather no. is a hundred years old, and in this kingdom, when you turn eighteen, you make a wish. You go to the king and you make your wish, and then the king takes your wish, and you forget what it is, and then perhaps he will grant it to you during what's called a wish granting ceremony, like it's the fucking giver. And okay. so he he is in charge of all these things, and she wants to be his fucking apprentice. She wants to be like, oh, I, I'm gonna work for the king because he's like the Who coolest is the dude ever. Willy Wonka kid. Uh, Charlie, yeah, the one wants, for the chocolate. She wants factor. to be Charlie. Yeah, she wants to be the Charlie. She wants to be a Charlie. You she see, goes in there. Okay. She finds out the dude's not granting wishes because some like he's an asshole. No, some of them are too fucking vague. <laughs> like it makes total oh. sense, and then the movie plays him to be an asshole, and he legit says like, "No, I can't do that." I mean, like this is he wants to inspire people. That's great. That's a. I mean, if he, assuming he's a good guy, that's great. However, it's but too like, vague. Does, does he play? Did the king in the trailer play it straight? Just like I. What do I do with this in the trailer or whatever you're talking about? No, I, I watched the, the fucking movie. Oh yeah, I watched yeah, the yeah. whole fucking film. So in okay, the movie, so he's just like, I can't fucking do this. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's, they asked for world peace. I'm a wizard, not fucking <laughs> yeah. god. Like it's his, I don't her, know. I can't do that. It's her 100 year old <laughs> grandfather is like is the one who has the wish and she's like could yeah. you grant my 100 year old it's his 100th birthday can you gra he's waited so long what do you want he wants to inspire people he oh. wants to create something that will inspire future generations and okay. the king's like that's a, a noble wish however too vague it could be a riot or like a angry mob or 
uh, a terrible thing happens that will inspire a future generation. It could be a war, you know, it could be anything. Mm-hmm. It, anything it, can just, yeah, okay, yeah, it makes sense. Because he can't, like, control uh, basically how it comes about. Oh. A- everything can be monkey's paw if it's too fucking okay, vague. so it's not a matter of him not literally not being able to do it. It's a matter of he if knows, he grants it, he knows it's that going magic to have repercussions. Is a, yeah, magic yeah. is a fucker. So yeah. it has to be, like, very specific. The wish has mm. to be very specific. Like, somebody says they want to bake the best cakes in the world. He's like, yeah, that's a good one. I can make you, I can let you do that. Mm-hmm. Right? But, oh, that's, not, that's fine. That's yeah, not exactly. And then the movie plays him to be a fucking chaotic, evil, fucking terrible human being. What? And she runs away and is like, I can't believe he won't. Let me guess. My She's grandfather to... is the coolest guy in the world. He's so nice. And he's like, look, man, I'm sorry. You're, you're not getting the job. She leaves. She sings a song about what she wants. <laughs> you, look, you're giving me bad vibes. Yeah, you're giving me bad vibes. Look, I can't do this. She, uh, sh- he, w- he, like, gives the lady who wants to build cakes her wish, and then she sings a song and is like, "Oh, fucking everything sucks," and she wishes upon a star, and then a star comes out of the sky and it makes such a bright light like a fucking. Did the nuke. star look like shit. It, it looks like a Luma from uh, Mario Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, could be better, but I'm not against it. Yeah, it just it's like a little fat little faggot. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, does it look like the emoji movie? Yes. Oh, I hate it. The star comes down from the sky and it's like a fucking nuke. There's just a bright light that everybody sees. Yeah, and it's like obviously a nuke analogy. And the king's like, "What the fuck was that? It, that was wish magic. I, I and I didn't do it. Fuck." And uh, the star comes down from the sky and comes to the girl, and it just it just grants fucking wishes to everything chaotically. Like, it's just like, it's making mushrooms alive. It makes a, it makes all the animals in the forest be able to talk and creates Bambi. And this, and that's when you start realizing everything in this movie is a Disney property that they are like giving a basis for how all of these Disney properties became a thing. Oh, because yeah, once you wish upon upon a star. star. So Hmm. every, so like the, the seven dwarves are there. The king ends up being the fuck. You know what? I'll I'll keep. I'll finish the story real quick before I tell you who the fucking king is. Actually, make a guess. Who is the king? Which Disney character is the king? God, hmm. a- every character in this whole fucking thing. And guess who the black girl is? I don't know. You don't get a lot of oh, in the early days. You don't have a lot of. Oh, just, are they still black? Canonically, uh, no. The, oh, okay. Okay. So make a guess. Who do you think the girl is? And keep in mind, this whole I, thing is about like. Wishing upon a star, gr- like, like granting I want to say Cinderella, maybe. No, no, it's not Cinderella. Uh, but... God, um, it's not one of the other princesses. It'd be weird it's not it like a like, character that's already established. It'd be weird if it was oh. like Pinocchio. Wait, what do you mean it's not a character? Like, it's not a character that has like where you know what their fucking backstory is. Well, it'd be weird if it was like so Pinocchio because that's like the only yeah, it's a side character. Well, Everybody is a side character. Except oh, for like Bambi, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Like the mouse from Cinderella has their backstory in this. Okay, oh. okay. And it's Hold fucking on, weird. Man. The seven dwarves have their backstory. Do in the this. backstories that they do this? Does it relate to their plots in this movie at all? Is there like any kind of tie in there? Yes, I guess. Okay, damn it. Uh, <laughs> like mildly, uh, but in like the uh, worst it's like way. Cinderella's fa- stepsister. All right, you guys thinking that- about it? I'll keep telling you the plot. Okay. All right. So the fucking star comes out of the sky. Now she's got a little Luma following her around, being a little asshole, granting, like, making chaos happen. Just chaos reigns. Any request for any reason, every time. Y- yeah. Just anything. And uh, of course, this turns out only good because they, they, there's no evil people. So they're uh, like, so it only turns out good. And they play the king to be like a, a, a douchebag because they're like, look, it's only a good thing. No scratchy bearded guy in rags on yeah, the edge no of town fucking weird to up. lower the age of consent. Yeah, no guy like, like that. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, do you mean Jafar <laughs> from Aladdin? Scratchy yeah. beard looking guy? No, no, just a pedophile. Yeah, no. just a straight up pedophile. <laughs> just, like, just Herbert. No. Pretty sure pedophiles have always just existed Herbert the to pervert. some extent. You know, like... So, uh, the king's theme. like, fuck, somebody else has magical powers. All right, he talks to everybody in town. He gathers everybody in town, and he's like, all right, you find out who did it, and we'll fucking, we'll, you know, we'll take care of them. So if you have any information, bring them to me. And then, uh, at this point, the the main character, oh, yeah, Will's got something. Uh, is, is the princess girl the blue fairy? The blue fairy from what? Like, you know, like Pinocchio. She's like the star. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. 
Bam. Yes, she is. Okay. She is the fairy godmother. Yes. Wait, the fairy yeah. godmother from yes. Cinderella? From Cinderella, oh. Pinocchio. She's the one that where you wish upon a star. Yeah. Wait, wish if upon you just a star wish... is the blue fairy from Pinocchio, which is different yes. from the fairy godmother. That you're telling me, dude. Oh, you are telling me. Well, okay, so the answer is yes to both. Yeah, of the okay, answer is wait. both. She is the wish the granting king, bitch from things. The king is the wizard from the original like Fantasia thing with Mickey Mouse, the Sorcerer's oh, Apprentice. Ooh. The, that's a good. That's a that's good Merlin, one. Though. That's a good one. Is it it's Merlin? Merlin? It's no, Merlin. no. He means no, Chernobog. That guy actually, even has a no. He's, his name's not Chernobog. The fucking demon in the mountain. No, no, not that's the not. Demon he's talking, he's talking about the broom uh, wizard. He's talking oh, about the, the wizard. The wizard. He's talking the about actual wizard. Yeah. yeah. He's talking about the Sorcerer's Apprentice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't. We don't get his name. We yeah. What's but, his name? No, he hasn't won in Kingdom Hearts, but I'm, I'm pretty not sure it's Merlin. Dude. Like, uh, it is, it his name is Yin Merlin. Sid how, how in Kingdom Hearts because yeah, it's, it's Disney, Disney backwards. backwards. Yeah, yeah, oh, Yin really? Sid. Yeah, his yeah. name is Yin Sid. Really? Yeah, that's yes. his only canonical oh, name is Yin okay. Sid. All right, because Merlin is actually another character that also exists in Kingdom Hearts from the Sword and the Stone franchise. Yes, separate characters. All Welcome right. to the Kingdom Hearts podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, so like, Anson? so the, the seven dwarves are the are the black girl's friend. And they figure out because she sucks at hiding it. And obviously it's impossible to hide this little star going around granting everybody's wishes. They find out that like the what the star is and then they feel bad because the king's like, you know, turn over your friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they concoct a plan where they're going to sneak into the king's castle to the top floor where he keeps all the wishes. And then they're going to get the little fucking fairy star Mm -hmm. in there and start granting everyone's wishes. Oh, no. Yeah. So uh, he catches them before they do that. And then he's like, he starts using a dark magic out of a fucking book, like with like green flames, like Maleficent. Mm -hmm. Uh, So he starts using this magic and then finds out that like, if he takes these wishes, which are in these like little bubbles and then he crushes them, then he, it makes him more powerful vaguely more powerful. It doesn't do anything. He just has a staff and it gets more powerful. Space cocaine. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Uh, and every time he does this is for an extra boost. Yeah. Every time he does this, it cuts to the people whose wishes it was. And then they grab their chest and go, Oh, grief. <laughs> <laughs> They're just their like, wishes I have been crushed. I can't explain it, but some, I lost something and I, I fucking, I'm snickering every time <laughs> that happens. Cause they look so fucking dumb. <laughs> so they future Patrick put a, a picture of, of Squidward like putting flowers down at the grave of his hopes and dreams <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. so the king's like fuck you you're hold on who is this sorry where was I yeah we'll cut that out I suppose yeah that was a mm-hmm. business call uh, uh, yeah. so the, the king takes all the people to like the courtyard and he's like oh I've got all your fucking wishes suck my dick i'm not i'm not granting anybody's wishes you all should bow to me and he like pins them all to the ground with magic he goes a little evil he goes a little bit evil he's going a little bit chaotic as time goes on Mm. and uh everybody stands up and starts singing and the power of friendship saves them from the evil magic Mm. and then he gets sucked into his staff oh no and the top of his staff is made out of a cylindrical glass uh piece (laughs) <laughs> and then he's stuck inside. Now, what character in Disney is stuck inside of a cylindrical glass piece? Hold on. Jafar? Lumiere? No, but that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the goldfish from Pinocchio. No, he's the fucking... He's the mirror, mirror on the wall guy. Whoa! Oh. That's a twist. Okay. That's a pretty it's good a, twist, not gonna lie. I, okay. I mean, like, it's not, not like you're expecting it, but, like, he's... I don't hate that. Yeah, I don't hate that. Uh, they do do a cool thing where he uses like magic and then it looks like Maleficent's magic. And you're like, oh, that's where Maleficent got her magic from. She learned it from the fucking mirror. Yeah. And yeah, the mirror yeah, yeah. knows how to use magic because he's an evil king, gr- wish granting king. That didn't sound too bad. That, no. That's, that's okay. why he still has powers, too. No. The worst part of the fucking movie is that, like, the you know how all those Disney characters have, like, a little, like, Pocahontas has a raccoon, yeah. Aladdin has Abu. Yeah. Uh, they've got a little fucking goat that's voiced by somebody I swear to God sounds just like uh, Patrick Stewart. <laughs> and he's just constantly making quips. It's it's just fucking awful. <laughs> and, and everybody in the fucking movie has the worst, like, dialogue in the world. It's a lot of, I can't, I, I can't believe that just happened. 
Mm. Oh my god, I cannot believe this is happening right now. Yeah. It's it's a lot, it's so much of that. Like if we acknowledge it's weird, it you know, it sounds better or something. Yes, like yeah. make a bad joke and they acknowledge it, you know. It's then, so you know. fucking weird. People don't talk like that. Too meta. And not even too meta, just fucking not quite meta, but speaking of people don't talk like that, I've been playing Star Wars uh Squadron. Yeah. <laughs> and the dialogue in that game. It's like you can tell it was meant for somebody who like comes in and can play for maybe 30 minutes a day. <laughs> like do like one or two missions and then sets it down for like three months. The COD audience. Me. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, Eric. Uh, Eric. Yeah, it's Eric. 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 It's perfect for you, Eric. Because like, cause like every time you like do a mission uh, and talk to an NPC, they're like, wow, I can't believe the last time we were doing this, this, that, and that happened. And <laughs> when we were doing this next mission, this, that, and this that will happen. What an insane thing. Get out there, champ. You can do it. They're just giving you like a full rundown like, of like every the mission time. briefing like, every time. Yeah, it feels like it every time. What is Star Wars Squadron on? It's uh it's on PC, Xbox. Is it, is it good? It's Is that the one you can get with the VR? Yeah, and you can tell it was more for VR, but yeah. it's... Wait, like, can you play it on the Quest? Yeah. Might be better on the Quest, I would say... We gotta say play that, dude. I'd be down. Five out mm -hmm. of ten, honestly. Like, if you're playing it on PC, just because uh, a lot of it... It's really held down by, like, obviously being made for VR, mm -hmm. and also, like, the dialogue being really bad, mm -hmm. and it sort of plays like uh that old star wars starship game oh yeah yeah yeah. but Rogue at the Squadron. same time it's held up only by the fact that the starship fighting is actually a lot of fun so the dog fighting's like fucking oh, cool yeah that the, was important that they nail that the dog yeah, fighting that's the is, whole game dog fighting is really cool um everything that surrounds that sucks ass my niece played Star Fox 64 and a bunch of other 64 games for the first time ever when she came over the last time she kept fucking flying into the ground was she a lot like her father <laughs> <laughs> yes uh she her father committed suicide by flying a plane to the ground <laughs> Let the audience know that and how insensitive that joke was. On Will's <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> that might be the funniest thing you've ever said on this show. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh. It's so goddamn funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Her father was one of the Arabs during 9-11. I just want to, just, to, just to twist that around just, and act the other way, just in case you guys are getting too sympathetic. Uh, no. She hated Mario 64, and I, she hated every 64 game. Yeah, me too. Really? You don't like the 64 games? I don't like the controller. Oh, I hate the controller, but you can play with an Xbox controller now, you know? Hmm. How would like, that work? The but buttons, like, they're not the same. Uh, I just use uh, the, C, uh, the right stick for all the C buttons. Oh, and, uh, oh, yeah, that would work. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty much it. <laughs> think, Eric, think. Uh, Anyways, Wish sucks. I think I'm giving it a four or a three. Hmm. Uh, it's 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 you really sided with the antagonist. It's really bad. <laughs> and that's always that's probably a bad thing if if you're siding with the antagonist. Yeah. I've uh, I've been doing a lot of watching 3D anime recently. OK, hmm. Um. so 3D anime has come a long way. I watched Trigun Stampede or at least eight episodes of it. Uh, I watched I all was of all right. It is all right. Uh, I still feel like it's too stiff. It is. It is a little bit too stiff. It's getting there. But it's, it's getting not nearly there. as stiff as Dragon's Dogma, which I also watched. Mm -hmm. and, and it's definitely not as stiff as Berserk 2016, which is oh. about as stiff as CG can get. That's yeah, true. I heard about that one. That is they true. Crap down the budget or something with yeah. that. Yeah. Like I watched Blue Eye Samurai all the way through, and that is one of the best things I've seen in years. I saw hmm. uh, Reed watching that. He uh, said it was good. Yes, it is. It's uh, better than good. I would go as far as to say it's great. Hmm. It's uh, I, I, I loved it. I loved every second of it. I'm mad there's not more of it. You know what else looked great? What's that? That's coming out. The Godzilla x Kong, the new empire. Oh, yeah, like dude. That trailer one. looked badass. Have you seen the trailer, Eric? Yes, I did. I saw it just recently. D dude, okay, one, 
Uh, was it not the most hilarious thing when like the red, uh, the, the red like orangutan came out and he looks like a fucking boomer? <laughs> you I know, like I haven't seen the trailer. Dude, look at the trailer right now. We'll pause this whole thing. Oh, just see the trailer. Patrick, right. fucking pause. Let's watch the trailer. Patrick, cut this out. We'll scream when we come back in. Ah! And we're back. Thank you, Patrick. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks like an interesting movie, though. Does look like does look like an How interesting. How fun movie. did that look? Why does he look like a boomer? Uh, why does King Kong have a robo arm like so, like? Uh, like I don't uh, no, I don't remember his arm getting significantly damaged in the last one. I mean, he got the shit kicked out of him for a minute, and then him and Godzilla teamed up, teamed up on King uh, spoilers. Up? Hell yeah, dude! Spoiler alert: Mothra. Uh, no, Mothra was in the movie before that, and then got a uh, robo pseudo killed. Mothra what? always comes back. She's a resurrector. So wait, what is he? Uh, is, is this like a uh, this is like a series Mecha of Godzilla, Godzilla yeah, and it, King Kong? New, oh yeah, dude! This yeah, is the second a, Godzilla well, and King Kong movie. It's a it's a it's a um, and it's like the fifth movie in the franchise. It's part of yeah, it's part of the Godzilla series. You guys want to know something about me? Mm. I don't care. You've never seen a Godzilla movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hurt his feelings. Will. You hurt his feelings. Say sorry. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, sorry. There we go. I've never seen a Godzilla movie or a King Kong movie. You piece of shit. I bet you've you're seen, dead to me. I bet you've seen. <laughs> I bet you've seen Skull Island. Uh, I have not, though. I know Hideo Kojima liked it. That's that's all I know. Yeah. Um, Godzilla Competent 2014. Video game. It's Godzilla 2014. Uh, Kong Skull Island. Um, Godzilla King of Monsters, Godzilla versus King Kong, and then Godzilla Kong New Empire. Yeah, I've never, uh, I've never, I've never seen one. Uh, I saw the 1999 Godzilla. Oh, I liked that as a kid. That yeah, really I, I loved it as a kid. I thought that's it was, a lot of fish. Thought it was sick. Is that the quote yeah, from that, that movie? That's a lot of fish. <laughs> Is that the quote from that movie? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, from what I understand, Brian Cranston dies in one of them. Uh, That's the first one, the, the Godzilla the 2014. The original yeah. creator of Godzilla rebought the rights of Godzilla to specifically take that Godzilla from that movie and kill it, and kill it with the original Godzilla. Yep, it's in uh, one of those big ensemble movies that they had in the uh, mid 2000s. There were actually yeah. a lot of randomly good, like more old fashioned styled, but with some better special effects. Um, Godzilla movies in like the mid 2000s. Where does Shin Godzilla fall into this? That's I don't know later. anything about That's Godzilla. Like, Shin Godzilla came a little bit later, and it doesn't have any continuity. Um, it's it's just a standalone project. Why do you know so much about Godzilla? Yeah, yeah Eric, watched, what uh, the fuck? What do, you fucking yeah, Godzilla? Who is uh, Godzilla to you? He is God. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you Nerdzilla. King of the dude. monsters. Nerdzilla. Okay. King of the Monsters. No, nah, honestly, just uh, was it Monster Thon, Monster Mania? What the Monster fuck is the thing Thawne. that? Uh, oh, James, James Rolfe's thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, his thing. Monster Madness. Yeah, Monster Madness. Yeah, I saw uh, a lot of it on that, and then I've just seen some other shit since then. And I enjoy the Godzilla movies. I've seen the very first one from the fifties. I've seen uh, the original Godzilla versus King Kong. Um, Are we going to talk seen... about the H Bomber guy video? Uh, fucking what a transition, you jackass! Damn, yeah. we want to talk about the brakes a little the harder. Fuck H bomber guy. Jesus, we're talking Christ. about God, motherfucking Zilla, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Damn, did you get bored? Shit, man. Yeah, and God, right, fuck. We can talk about the H bomber guy. Hey, H bomber dropped a video. You should go watch it. He name drops a shit ton of people. Turns out, internet historian's a fucking fraud, dude. How how is he a? Fr- he plagiarized he completely plagiarized a, an article, an, an entire article for his video, like word for, for word. For Man in Cave? So, I'm sure you've seen Man in yeah, Cave. Yeah, so badly that the specific copyright strike that he got was like, it worded like, this is illegal, and if you do not take this down, we will take it. Like, this was from YouTube. Yeah, it was I like, saw. we will take action against you. I don't think that was from YouTube. That would be from the company responding oh, to his either uh, way, strike. Holy, because like, from what I understand, that's not what normally happens. Mm-hmm. So, the I, comments about uh, Israel were really funny, though. <laughs> Did you watch the video, the H Bomber guy video, Eric? I have not. No, okay, but, yeah. Uh, is Man that in that Cave, new six hour long one. He that's had? Three, it's like but, yeah. two or three hours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, H Bomber, like internet historian, like plagiarizes. Um, some I know the gay guy. I don't remember his name. Uh, the the monster madness. The entire like. Uh, comeback from Monster Madness on AVGN. Like, remember when he when some other people were writing it? 
Have right. you seen any of the new Monster Madness stuff? That's what got me on this kick. I was like, oh yeah, Monster Madness. That was in the H Bomber guy. Yeah. No, I don't think I watched any of it this so, Halloween. So no. originally, uh, Monster Madness, AVGN, wrote all of it, you know, and yeah. it was like his passion thing. Yeah. Later, it came back and it was written by different people, but a- AGBN was like the voice of it. Sure. Apparently, all of it was plagiarized. Yeah, pretty much. It was all plagiarized from articles. So, like, one of the writers for it, one of wow. the, guy, the guys who wrote most of it, just plagiarized a shit ton of people. Uh, he called out one IGN guy who uh, famously, you know, ripped off an entire YouTuber uh, word for word for his... Uh, I don't remember what review it was. I don't know. I can't remember. But you can go watch in the video and find out. Yeah. Um, he calls out Illuma, uh, Luma Getty, which was... Illuminati. Whatever. I, that, I've, that I've seen her content yeah, Blair. before. I'm well aware of her uh, offenses and her shitty business practices and yeah. that guy she tried to Is it so weird that house. like her parents are weirdly progressive and, and rich as fuck, apparently? It doesn't surprise me at all that they're progressive because her videos are all about like social justice and like bad companies and Anti-vaxxers shit Anti-vaxxers like and yeah, shit. Yeah, but just considering yeah, her, like, people. from what we understand about... I don't know. I say but we she's understand. She's a total bitch now. Yeah, that's been totally that, revealed that, that she's totally that type of person. From what we can person. tell about what who Blair is and what her personality is like, it's just weird to see, like, basically, it's the opposite with her parents. I mean, she's a two-faced bitch. Outside well, of internet historian, doing, this yeah. is my first, like, interaction with any of these people. Me and my like, wife both used to watch Illuminati. Yeah, she made fun I of loved, MLMs, yeah, really. I loved uh, watching um, Illuminati. She's got, like, four really good videos on uh, PETA. Peter. Oh yeah, that's her probably her most famous. Yeah, like Though, that's I mean, how who I knows, first found her. Who knows if that's original or not? Uh, I mean, the information's probably good. I believe that part. Whether or not she properly researched it is a whole other question. Well, I was amazed. Sourced it. I'm sure she researched it plenty. Yeah, well, you know, I was amazed at her using the documentary footage and then being able to get past the DMCA automation by just putting a filter over it. That was impressive to me. I was like, damn, I got to start doing that. Right? To, like, <laughs> well, to make never, reviews? Never going to make it if you don't just steal other people's stuff. No, I mean, like, I need, I, I've always been trying to find a way to use footage for reviews for, like, to show, like, a scene. Because if I if I, if I want to show somebody a scene from a, a video. Why don't you just mirror it? That's what everyone, like, if you mirror it. And no, then... they, like, the, the system now knows. The system oh. now, like, knows if you've mirrored something. It's like, oh, well, you just mirrored it, you dumb fucker. I hear That's... If you put your face in the corner, that can help sometimes that can help you can do a lot of things wendigoon got over uh playing footage of um all quiet on the western front yeah because no matter how little he put in it they just striked it like five times in a row and it's like Mm. an hour and a half long video so he just said fuck it i put a wojack of susan wojiki in my fucking velma video because that (laughs) i was like they kept copyright striking so i just put a wojack of susan in the corner oh i finally for the first time yesterday saw that uh video uh current Velva meets like the old Velma. Uh, I've seen never that? seen it. No. Oh my God. <sighs> We're going to have to pause the podcast. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Fried All crab right. flavor Where's cannot my, be good. Fried crab? Flavor? Yeah. No, that sounds disgusting. Fried crab? Yeah. Huh. yeah. Not as a not as a potato chip, no. Um, All right, so we want to try the store, store loin? Yeah, that one. Why the Patrick, the one we'll right scream there. when we're back. Ah! <laughs> Anyway, All I right. thought that was a really, really uh, like that. That deserves to be shared. Yeah, you it was know, a good. I was just like, oh, 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 yeah, microphone. Patrick linked that. Yeah, it was a good. Uh, yeah, Patrick put that in the in the description. It's a good Those twist. Guys, I yeah. like. I like the twist. Reminds me of Meat Canyon. And they've it's, got yeah, and they've got more uh, horrific stuff like that. Like there's one where uh, I believe um, Mario. I saw the um, Bar- Barbie Heimer, uh yeah. thing. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Nick Cage is going to retire. He's saying he's going to be done with movies. He's what got all the about, fuck. He's only got four or five movies left in him, according according to the big man himself. Well, now I don't give a fuck about Nick Cage about anything else other than what. Do, how do you think it should end? How what should his last what movie? The last four be? I think it should be like uh, like you know you go into a you know how you go into a fast food restaurant and you just start mixing all the soft drinks together. Oh mm-hmm. God, yeah, a suicide. suicide. Yeah. So like I've written a little thing down and I'm kind of like uh, you know what basically what should happen is he he should like go into the movie. Uh, getting stung by bees, you know, uh, <laughs> he's drinking himself to death like he's in Leaving Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he eventually he swaps faces with somebody. <laughs> uh, it, he is a vampire. He fights the vampire who bit him uh, as a flaming skeleton who has a motorcycle. 
uh, the, you know, the backstory being that Nick Cage got bit as he was selling weapons to Russia as a weapon <laughs> salesman. While snorting yeah. cocaine off of uh, his wife's sister's ass cheeks or Perfect. something. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Like, it should just be everything. And the should, whole thing is about the pig. Yeah. Everything yeah. should somehow, <laughs> so everything should somehow mix together. Yeah. It's all about this pig he has to get into, from uh, New York to uh, California. Safe yeah. And sound. All yeah. of it has to mix together into this insane, convoluted film. That would be perfect for Nick. One Cage. of his last films was just uh, was the crushing weight of like overwhelming talent or something. Yes, that was actually really good. Where he I plays himself. That. I heard that it wasn't that great. It was I it good. Liked it. Well, I, I haven't well, seen it yet. It, my standards. Yeah. Well. So. But still, so it'll be okay <laughs> for you. Yeah, I, I'll be. I'll be. Like, it's all right. Uh, I tried to get people to watch it with me, and they were like, "No, nah, I don't really want to watch a Nick Cage movie." I love Nick Cage. I think me and Will like Nick Cage. Oh yeah, he's in some bad shit, but yeah. he's not the bad part of it. Exactly. Yeah. No. It depends. Really, sometimes well, he is the best. He can part of be it. given very bad direction sometimes. You, you have to, you gotta keep Nick on a leash a little bit. Pretty much, yeah. Otherwise, he uh, he grabs the ass of a of a thirteen year old choir girl Did and he? then like and then smiles into the air with an orgasmic face. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah and face off. off. Oh, he really did. Yeah, that. that's a yeah, thing. No, that was a real thing. Oh, he wasn't a real uh, thing. That wasn't the example he was pulling out. Of his why ass. did he? Why did he grab that girl's ass? Why was that, that his direction? Was that yeah, like. How old do you think that actress was? I have no idea. Was that really her ass? I... I probably, probably it was be a the fake easiest ass way to do it. Mandatory, <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> think that by the, by the well, actors honest, guild. Yeah, I don't see mid '90s Hollywood uh, creating a prosthetic ass just so that somebody could not have their ass squeezed. Do you have any idea how many people were being molested while that was being like <laughs> shot <laughs> in the background? Uh, Nick Cage like, himself was background. being molested. <laughs> yes, probably. Yeah. I mean, I bet you can't there shake a actually, shake a cat in Hollywood without getting molested. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it sounds like a really rapey city. I'm not gonna lie. I, it's weird to me that that was okay to put on film. Like you're either raping or getting raped in Hollywood. That's like the that's all there is. I wish. I, speaking of Hollywood, yeah. Uh, which I need to quit doing that as transi- transition. Oh, no, a lot of them a, are. Uh, alien I need a cultists. better transition. Uh, but when are we going to get our first? Uh, when is it going to be long enough to get our first 9/11 comedy? Because nothing's sacred. Haven't Let's we, just get that out of the way. Nothing is sacred. Have we not had one yet? No, no, we have not had a night. We did have that very, now, very we, funny we, transition at the end of that movie with Robert Pattinson where it, f- it zooms out at the end of the movie. It's like a whole film and it zooms out and he's in the Twin Towers and he's like, all right, baby, I'll be home for dinner. It zooms out and like text on the bottom of the screen goes September 11th, 2001. <laughs> oh, no. That, that's, he's on like the top fucked. floor. That's oh, so fucked. It's the best. Uh, that's put the, it like five minutes before the <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, Just in case you were wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Nine oh five a.m. Yeah, yeah, Nine oh five. <laughs> oh, like <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. When are we gonna get? When do you think it's been a long enough time? Because we're only now get, <clears throat> getting to where. We were just telling jokes about 9-11. You know, I don't know that. the victims of 9-11 are the fastest readers. They can read uh, 91 stories splat. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. kind of a grade school-esque good. joke, but yeah. it does. But it, like, the structure is very solid. But we're, we're getting there. So when do we actually get a professional writer who does a full-out 9-11 comedy? In about 50 comedy? years, probably. Well, 50 got, like, years? But comedies are dead right now. You've got like that communist streamer dude, Hassan or whatever. Hassan, Hassan Piker. Piker. Yeah, who says, like, America deserved 9-11, and he's still popular. America did deserve 9-11. Like, you know, it's just like... Eh, like Whether so we deserve 9-11 with, or not, I think, is an aside point. Like, people When are, am I going to get a plane-style comedy where, at the end, they hit 9-11? I think the, the best the thing you could do is a rubber plane going into rubber buildings, and then it just bounces off. I think that would be the I don't funniest think be 50 bit you could years. do. I don't think... Uh, that's I think it'll be 50 long. years, yeah. I mean, hey, Team no, America, World we've already been, We're already 20 I know, years. I know, but that's, like, not a 9-11 comedy. Comedy, that's just no, like a it's y- just touching on but American lot. policing but we're already the world. Twenty years yeah. past the event. Yes, but over twenty years. Yes. I, we'll need. We'll need. I think it goes by generations. I think you need two generations of people over that lived years. in nine eleven to be dead by the time you can have a comedy about something. There's, so the, vic- the basically the victims the, all the, need to be dead. N- no, I don't think the victims, <laughs> well, the victims are already, already dead. The victims' families need to be dead. say... <laughs> the victims need to be dead. Unfortunately, Eric, I hate to I tell you this. News. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody survived well, that. Well, no! Um, yeah. Well, plenty I, of people got out of the buildings before they, they left. They I, were just not 
uh, not proportionately a lot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like there were people who were at the bottom. I think that those people out. need to be in their 90s no. and 80s before you'll get a comedy about something like that. Mm. Um, people who's like brothers a, and sisters. Have we ever had a comedy about Pearl Harbor or is that too sacred? We, uh, no, I don't. I highly doubt we've ever had a. Po- it would be hilarious, though. I could write a lot of good material about Pearl Harbor. Nothing mainstream <laughs> comes to mind, but I feel like it's got God, to be somewhere. We had to have made fun of Pearl Harbor somewhere. God, uh, like it's been so long. What was it? Forty. About what do you think, Eric? How? Uh, yeah, it? it was like forty-one, forty-two, December like seventh or something like that. 1941 is a 1979 American war comedy film directed by Steven Spielberg what and written by fuck? Robert Zemeckis when, and Bob when, Gale. When, when did Excuse it come out? Excuse you? When did it come out? Uh, 1979. When did Pearl Harbor happen? 1941, yeah, the I name of the movie. 1970, yeah. when did it come out? 1979. Nine. So it's like 30 something so years. 51, 61. Oh, not even 50 years, dude. We're close. We're close to our 9 11 comedy. 38 years. How, how many years has it been since 9 11? 22. 22, dude. It's we're like we're, halfway there. We're pretty yeah. close. We're halfway. I we're, told we're you. We're a little more than halfway there. I told you it'll be it'll be pretty. It'll be. You like said 50, fifty. You said fifty. This is not. To be I didn't fair, say fifty years it was really from close now. Close to forty. Yeah. Uh, for nine for uh, Pearl Harbor there. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, should we watch years. this movie? I'm not thirty eight years old. Yeah, we should watch so. this movie. Yeah. Should we watch the trailer and then scream when we're back? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to continue to do. Yeah, yeah. I guess this is just to watch YouTube on the stream. Ah! Ah! All right. Yeah, Toshiro Mifune. That That's movie insane. looks hilarious. Yeah, that movie looks that for sure. insane. great. Toshiro Mifune. Can we watch that? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love Hell, to watch that. Who is probably Tosh- old enough who is, to where we actually wouldn't guy. have to worry about the copyright. No. Who is Toshiro? Yeah, play the whole movie. Oh, he was like a famous uh, Japanese uh, movie star. Oh, okay. I think he was uh he was in some of the big landmark films that get referenced in anime and uh video games a lot. Like uh shit. Lone Wolf and Cub. That's exactly what Seven I was Seven Samurai. Yeah. Uh, is yeah, I think yeah, he uh, is. He's the he's a little berserker dude. He's the, he's the guy from Yojimbo, isn't he? I think so, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. just naming movies that I, are Japanese and old that I, I'm like, yeah, that's Hold really on. cool. I know all those. I, I don't know if it has Toshiro Mifumi in it. Cool. Uh, Wait, hey, speaking of he things was... they should make, yeah. Um, if if you had to make an AMC styled uh, TV show, what is an AMC styled TV show? First off, like uh, like a Burn Notice, uh, NCIS, SWAT. Oh, um, okay. I, um, 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 so you know. a drama. It's yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, drama. Yeah. It's like a police soldier. A television dra- police yeah, drama. Yeah. You got it. You know, soldier type thing. Yeah. Of the Israel-Gaza conflict. <laughs> uh, what would you call it? I was thinking tunnels with a plot line very similar to Hole, the Disney show Holes. <laughs> Or movie holes. <laughs> the movie holes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. And, uh, I, I, and I was thinking the ocean. Like the op- those holes. Yeah, I was thinking that could be the opening digging song. Digging up those holes. Yeah. To like, to like to the you whole thing. You got to go. Yeah, like the wire. Yes, like the wire. <laughs> totally. Absolutely. What the fuck? It's a bunch of Palestinian. No, not even Palestinians. It's a bunch of Hamas guys <laughs> digging, digging holes in Israel. Mm. Yeah, and you know, and take then, a like, bad boy, make him dig five holes. Wait, what and is then the, and, the and then like it would like go between the the Hamas POV and like the Israel uh, conscript. <laughs> fuck the fuck the television show, dude. I want to. Oh. I want this just made in the style of holes, where it's a bunch of Hamas <laughs> guys, where they've got nicknames like X Ray and Armpit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, th- just I don't know. They're like prisoners or whatever. Yeah, you gotta watch out for and them lizards. Awful face. <laughs> 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 they gotta oh, watch God. out for them lizards yeah. out there. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, I. They're out there digging in uh, in on the Gaza Strip, trying to find treasure for the warden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus. One Christ. of them's eating a bunch of garlic to try to keep the fucking uh, lizards away. Yeah, f- I thought it was. Wait, uh, wait, who would the um? What's his What's his name? The Just Do It. Who's that guy? Oh, Sh- uh, Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, yeah who's Shia the Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf character in this? What would he be? Who was Shia LaBeouf in? Holes? He was the main character. Yeah, he what? Was Stanley yeah, Yelnitz. he's Stanley Yelnats. What? Yeah, Stanley Yelnats. 
That's I am, Shia LaBeouf. My yeah. mind also, is blown. what did he steal? Because it's definitely not. Did he steal the Torah? Of... He took a hostage. What do you mean? It was no. a pair of shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He took a hostage. Okay. It was a pair of shoes. I, no, in not the... In, the, in our version, Eric. Yeah. Oh, the... in the tunnels. In the tunnels. Oh, what did he? What uh, did he steal? Obviously, he got caught with a hostage. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I was no, gonna no, say no. the Torah, but. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. He no, stole no, no, the Torah. No, no. Yeah, he stole the Torah. He stole the candles from the Passover. <laughs> no, because remember, because remember the way it works. No, no, no. What happens uh, is the other little poor kid uh, was trying to transport explosives for uh, Hamas, <laughs> and he um he was about to get caught, so he ditched them over a bridge, and they fell into our Stanley's like uh, little bag. But he's just a little farmer oh, boy. Oh my god! And then what he if, goes if, and gets caught with the explosives in his bag as he's heading. What if he's not even he Hamas? Framed. He's just like a little Palestine yeah, he's kid. Stanley and he gets captured. Yes, uh, Stanley. Oh, like, oh no! Just like in holes, he got. Yes. Like, it was a mistake. He never stole the thing. He got. He got. Uh, he got POW'd he was, by mistake. He was never trafficking explosives. He was just going back to herd. Stalia like Yelberg. <laughs> it, it's just a little Jewish kid gets put into Hamas. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know about this. Oh. Oh God! Oh jeez! He learns the value of friendship in the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he eats, he and then, eats of course, at the onions. very end, they all get on the bus to go back home, and it explodes. <laughs> 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 it's, got, it's got like triumphant music, and they all <laughs> it just floats up immediately. God damn it, Dude, Future uh, Patrick! I don't know if this would be too much to edit do it if you want but if you could somehow put a, a just a, a video clip of a bus and then somehow cut it to where it explodes <laughs> just get that, good, get good the, bonus content on you buddy just uh, cut that uh cut in that clip from a uh, family guy where they were looking for god and they were in israel and they went to the bus and it exploded right before they got on <laughs> like just cut to that that's the idea oh there you go. god and that's the show folks thank you for listening to anything cast i'm patrick i'm eric i'm will and we'll see you next time